I'll get your reaction to that um, write-up by a member of the NPP. Especially, I mean, point three, mm. that speaks about the procurement processes that have been corrupted, I mean, in this economy. You remember the contracts for sale, you remember? Yeah. Under this government, where they were selling contracts to cronies. People were buying contracts. Contracts that are supposed to be fairly bidded for by qualified, I mean, contractors in this country were bought, were being bought. And an investigative piece exposed all those things from a media man of, of your media house, of high reputation. We saw how they were selling contracts like granite in this country. You remember Alistair Matthias, the gold mafia who was arrested and I'm investigated by the Al Jazeera. How he said President Kufado was his very good friend and that um, they had sold certain contracts to him and he goes out there looking for bias to some of these contracts. You saw how the Nyantichi expose, Nazari Miao expose on Nyantichi. He said if you give President Kufado $3 million, you put him in your pocket. If you give Baumia $2 million, he will shake his head, ah, all the contracts, boreholes and the rest will be yours. We've seen series of these corrupt exposés by people. And all these corruption exposés fingers President Akufuadu and fingers Alaji Baumia. And so if Koku Kwaten says that, look, we cannot break the eight with these corrupt practices. For the first time in the history of this country, a president appoints his daughter to the Creative Arts Industry Board. Not just that, he awards a spare part, an ambulance contract to his daughter's company. It has never happened in the history of this country. And sometimes I think that it is just last minute gathering of, of, of the little reserves that have been less. Let's, let's steal, let's siphon, let's take all the goodies left because we know we are leaving office. But look, I am happy that President Mahama has not minced words. He keeps saying that we we'll prosecute corrupt officials. The last time uh, one of their corrupt deputy ministers was accusing me of being unemployed. And I said, yes, why wouldn't I be unemployed? You, your de you deputy minister, you've appointed your brother and given your brother contract. The contract I would have gotten, you've given it to your brother. The job I would have gotten, President Kufuado has given it to his daughter. The job I would have gotten, Baumia has given it to his brother, Mumuni Baumia, the Interior Ministry, has given the other job I would have gotten to his brother, Abu Ramadan, as Deputy Nadmo CEO. Even his wife's father, they've given a job as ambassador to Saudi Arabia. So if the if government officials will appoint not an issue of this just manner, this government, you, Malik, hold yes, on for you, me. You, this you is not an issue of just this government because I recall under your administration, um, the mass lock boss, the then mass lock boss, said in Atamaklu, was operating as the head of mass lock. Now she has since been jailed, although she's not in the country, for causing financial loss to the state, for fraudulent activities, for money laundering. But if you plan to deal with corruption, what do you then do when people in your government, is, they are also part of the problem? So that, I mean, I am not against any government dealing with anybody in corruption. Mm. But we want to see them first crack the whip in their government. We've had too many corruption exposures under their government. A deputy minister, sports minister, took over 100 journalists, fake journalists, to Austria. He said he was taking them there, I mean, to go and coverage and cover live the, the, the games. You remember, when they asked the, somebody, what is a recorder? He was looking at it. He thought it was pregnant. He didn't even know what a recorder was. They deported all of them. They banned you generally from even going for the Commonwealth Games in, the, in that same year because Ghana had dubiously brought fraudulent and fake people in the name of journalists. What happened to that investigation on Pius and Amajidi? Have you seen the report? The chief clearing agent cleared him even before the report would come. Charles Bissiu. A presidential staffer very close to Akufuadu was the first man to count corruption money on camera. People who even take corrupt money, they hide it before counting. This man was counting. And Alex Expose unraveled it for us. Have you seen any report in that investigation? The president himself dubiously inflated the Ameri deal from 510 million to over 1.3 billion. When we caught him red handed and stripped him naked, he said he was misled. Today, do you know who misled him? Has the president told us who misled him? Has he told us who sat with him? to teach him how to start increase and balance mm. that. Had mm. it not been that we caught him of that contract, mm. he would have fled, run away with 800 million. For the first time, his own special prosecutor said he was the mother serpent of corruption.